If you see a question about arc length or sector area, they're testing one basic proportion. Let's say you have a circle with a central angle of 60 degrees. Then we know that this 60 degrees divided by the total of 360 is in proportion to this arc length over the total circumference, which is also in proportion to this sector area, the area of this wedge over the total area. So if we were to write out the formula, we would just take the central angle of 60 over the sum of all the angles here, all the angles in the inside of a circle. It's always 360. And say that that's in proportion to the arc length divided by the circumference. And both of these are in proportion to this sector area over the total area. So in the case of this circle, I've got 60 over 360, which reduces to 1 6. So this, so this angle is 1 6 of the total angle, this arc length is 1 6 of the total circumference, and this sector area is 1 6 of the total area. This question says, for the circle with center O shown above, if arc ABC has a length of 5 pi, what is the degree measure of angle AOC? So this is a geometry question. I want to follow the geometry basic approach. Step one of that is to draw out the figure that they give you. They don't give you one, you add your own. So it gives me three points, A, B, and C. That forms an arc. It tells me that the center is O. It also tells me that AO is 9. Okay, so I'll set up some room for process of elimination. And the second step of this method is to write down any information you know. So they tell me that it's 9. I also know that the arc length of ABC is 5 pi. Okay, and the final step of this is to write down any formulas that you need. Now we just said the formula here is related the, relating the arc length to what they're asking me for, which is this central angle. So I could say that an angle, the central angle, over the total of 360 is in proportion to the arc length over the circumference. So now what I want to do is just plug all this information in as I have it. So I'm looking for this angle here, right? And I know the arc length is 5 pi, so I can rewrite this as angle, and I'll just make this an x, since I'm looking for it, over 360 is equal to 5 pi over the circumference. Now, does it tell me the circumference? It doesn't say it, but the circumference involves a really simple formula. I could just say c equals 2 pi r, and if I have the r, then this is pretty easy to solve. And I do. The radius of this circle is 9. So when I put 9 in for r, I'll get 18 pi. So solving for the circumference will get me 18 pi. And now my formula has given me a basic proportion. x over 360 equals 5 pi over 18 pi. Now, when you have fractions with a pi in the numerator and the denominator like this, you can just cancel them out. So let's solve the proportion for the missing value. I'll cross multiply. A a x times 18 is 18x equals 5 times 360. That's 1800 when I put it in my calculator. And as a final step, I'll divide both sides by 18. So I'm solving for my missing value. When I do, I get x is equal to 100, and that's the missing angle. So the correct answer to this question is c. So when you're being asked about arc length or sector area or central angles, just remember the proportion. The central angle over 360 is the same as arc length over circumference. That is the same thing as sector area over the total area. <laughs>